Hey everyone, and welcome to Hemp Processing and Technology. Today, we'll be going over the different ways to analyze the water you're using for your plants. So we'll be covering today both the TDS meter and how to measure as well as manipulate the pH of water. A TDS meter, or Total Dissolved Solids meter, is also known as a parts per million meter, or a nutrient tester, because that's exactly what it does. It shows the overall water quality by showing how many parts per million in the water is filled with solids. This does a couple of things. First, if I use it on plain water, it'll let me know the overall water quality and how much minerals, salts, and metals are in the water. This is useful both on water before watering to know if it's contaminated and on the runoff water to see how much nutrients are left in the soil, for example, when flushing the plants before harvest. Also, after you add your nutrients in the water, the meter will also let you know how much nutrients are in the water at any given time, which is especially important for some hydroponic setups to know when to add more nutrients into the water. Finally, there are also some other uncommon uses for a TDS meter, such as creating your own colloidal silver to make feminized seeds. So as far as how to use it, a TDS meter is really easy to use. You stick it in the water, turn it on, and it'll instantly give you a parts per million rating. Here, when used on regular tap water, you can see that it's about 245, which is typical for tap water, as it should range from 150 to 400 parts per million. Now let's talk about pH. pH is basically how acidic or alkaline the water is. And for a lot of people growing with soil, pH balancing or tap water before watering isn't usually necessary, as most tap water is within the acceptable pH range. However, sometimes when it looks like your plant isn't getting enough nutrients, the first thing you should do before increasing the nutrients is to check the pH level of the water, as one of the most common causes of nutrient deficiencies is that the pH level of the water is too high or too low, which prevents the plants from absorbing the nutrients. If this is a common occurrence, I definitely recommend going with a digital pH meter, which is a little more expensive than the old school method of using a pH test kit and a beaker of water. Just like the TDS meter, all you need to do is stick it in the water, turn it on, and it'll give you a reading of what the pH of the water is. Now if you're on a budget or rarely need to use one, a pH test kit will do the same thing, but it takes a little bit more work. You'll want to add some water into a beaker, drop a few drops of the test solution, mix it, and then match the color of the water with the pH guide. As you can see here, both the digital meter and the test kit shows a pH of about 7.5. Now if I want to adjust the pH, let's say lower to 5.5, all I would need to do is add something acidic. Around the house, I could use vinegar, or just put a little money down and buy a pH down bottle. I'll slowly add a few drops at a time, while stirring the water to get an accurate reading. And now that the water is 5.5, it's good to go for something like soaking rock wool cubes in. 